Hey guys, uh, this is uh, Nerf Reviewers. So uh, my name's Ollie. My name's Spencer. And uh, we're gonna be showing you some cool reviews on some Nerf guns we really think are awesome. So yeah. today, this is our first video on this channel. We just put this channel up today. And I hope it's gonna be good because, well, you know, I just hope it's gonna be good. <laughs> and um, my channel is Spencer Wars, so subscribe. His is MC Warlords. So yeah, or MC Warlords, sir, so subscribe to that too. Yeah. And uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel as well because this one's gonna bring the heat. And uh, leave a comment below saying which Nerf guns you want us to review. And uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, anyway, so today we have our first Nerf gun we're going to be reviewing, and that is the Long Shot. Long Shot CS6, and I just picked it up today, and I'm very excited to review it. So, here it is. Dum, 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 dum. Okay, so this is the Long Shot. It's um, big, yeah. None of you know it. Um, it's really cool. It has foldable bipods, like this. Oops, I can't really show you, but um, front gun thing. And, um, yeah, so now we're just going to be going through the pros and the cons of this blaster. First of all, I just want to say it's absolutely huge. So this is what it looks like. I'm a short dude, in case you haven't noticed already. So, yeah, this is absolutely ginormous. Yeah. And, um, some of you guys, like, I usually notice this, but, like, when a guy did the unboxing of the Vortex Nitron, this scope, it might be really small on camera, but it is really big. You look, 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 look. Ready? Look how big it is. Well, compared to my arm, yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah, but, so... Um, and, it, and it actually looks really cool as well. Yeah, um, it's just so hollow too. But anyway, so here's the pros and the cons. Um, the pr one pro is it holds a magazine in the stock. Like that. This is the magazine here. Yeah. Um, it has folding down bipods, which is right here. Fold up and down. And you can fold them down too, in case you need to snipe really fast. Um, another cool thing, which I think is awesome. Hold down the bipods. Yeah, thanks. Um, you you have a front gun thing here. So it's like when, a pistol. It's like a sh mini shotgun. It's so, like a Desert Eagle almost. Yeah. So and um, then you have the back part of the gun, which is still pretty big compared to any normal Nerf gun. Um, but the Mega Centurion is obviously longer, um, if you don't know what the Mega Centurion is. But this pistol, um, is really handy, I think. So, let's say you're in a situation where you're shooting a lot of rounds, and you waste all your clips, and you're out of ammo. What are you gonna do? You take off the front barrel, and bam, you got bullets, and you can just go bang, load, bang. It's, a, it's so really yeah, cool. It's a single load in the front here. Uh, I always love single loads. So yeah, so then you just go put it in. Cut the gun, shoot, put it in, cut the gun, shoot. Yeah, and it actually shoots quite far. It's a decent gun. So, yeah. Another pro I just want to share is the fact that it just looks so cool. Like, I'm not sure if you guys not agree with me, but if you don't agree with me, there's there's got to be something wrong with you because this is by far one of the coolest looking guns out there. Come on. Um, just look at that. Look at that. That is so cool. Yeah, um, the thing I like about it is it comes with this awesome ACOG scope. All of you are probably like, what are you talking about? This ACOG scope sucks. It's all the way, just all the way through. I, I actually kind of like it because you can use it for prop movies. Yeah, and like, it, and look it's at like, this, look at this. And, this um, looks like this so I kind of have something to say about them that if people are like, that sucks, it doesn't zoom. Like, if... That's so stupid. A Nerf gun isn't go isn't gonna go so far that you need a scope to zoom. And plus, all Nerf scopes are like that. I just wanted to get that out there because I think that's stupid if you think it should zoom. And plus, there is a Nerf gun that comes with a scope. It's a super soaker that does zoom a little bit. Yeah, okay. but it's probably not very good quality or anything anyways. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, now moving on to the cons, I guess. Um, um, There's not really much to say about the cons, um, except for the fact so that... Uh, this stock is really awesome. It holds a clip and stuff, but um, it's uncomfortable. Well, it yeah, to Ollie, I guess it's uncomfortable, but to I mean, me, come it's on, not. Look at that. That's uncomfortable. That's like stuff digging into your shoulder. Um, Do you want that digging into your shoulder? I don't. Um, I don't so a lot of people mod these guns, and what you have to do is, is you have to take out the stock and put like PVC piping in there so it doesn't um, collapse in you. So that's kind of bad. 
Um, I haven't had it happen to me. Um, when you have the, the caulking handle back, which I'll do right now, the jam door usually opens if you're, like, holding it up or, like, this is holding the jam it door down. Here. Yeah, the jam door is really cool. And so, yeah, like, if you hold it up like this, it can sometimes go down like that. It didn't go down that time. I just pushed it. Yeah, I just pushed it um, that time. I don't think... It, it is a pretty... The front gun, like we said in the pros, it is really useful. But it doesn't have a very good range. Like, it's good for close quarters combat, but you're not going to be shooting, like, down a hallway. It's not going to reach that far. Yeah, well, unless you, like, take out the air restrictors or something. But it's not going to go, like, 50,000 feet like you expect it to. Like, not like the new Elite guns. But, um, yeah, if you did mod it, like, put in a new spring or something, which I don't think it's really worth because you're not going to be using the front gun at all. Another thing I don't like about this gun is the fact that it's not like an electric gun. So you do have some electric guns such as the Hailfire or the, uh, oh god, what's it called again? The Stampede? Yeah, or the Stampede. Or the example. Rapid Strike and all those other guns. Yeah, you know, all those guns that are electric. This one's not electric, and that's the thing I don't like about it, because that, every time you have to shoot, you, you have, have to go it. like, you have to pull it back like this, and then you fire, and then you cock it, and then, then you fire, and it gets a little annoying and tiring after a while, and it takes ages to do that. However, on guns such as like the hail fire, like an electric gun, it goes, you just hold down the electric button, you go, and you just shoot bullets all you want. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's obviously Ollie's opinion. My opinion is I like it like this, because um, such, um, Ollie, yeah, that's your opinion, but... Yeah. My opinion is that I actually like these because you can conserve your rounds more. Because on the, um, oh, what's it called? I, I have it, the Rapid Strike. You, you um, tend to not care about your bullets. Like, you tend to not notice that you've shot a magazine. Yeah. It's because it just shoots so fast. And some people mod it so it shoots, like, really, really fast. So then you can't, like, conserve your ammo. Um, but I would like it to have, like... Um, a little um, bit more fast. Yeah, Maybe. but like, no, what I was going to say is or like, like, or like, the a, stampede, like the stampede, the nerf gun, the stampede, you used to have this thing where you could flick it like an actual gun so it could not shoot bullets and then it could shoot fully automatic. They could make it where it's semi automatic so you just bolt the thing all the time, or make it fully automatic so you could just like shoot it all the time. Anyways, so that's what we have for the review. Wait, one more, one more thing. Oh, one more? Okay, yeah. that's great. It's great. Um, sorry about that. No problem. But, um, yeah, I'm agreeing with you guys. The scope isn't very good. If you can see down here, it. Here, do, do it yeah, if you can see down it, it like it's clear plastic and stuff. Um, but it's really good compared to the Vortex Nitron scope. And I'm just gonna tell you about that. The Vortex Nitron scope, I would really like to just smash it on the ground because it is terrible. When you light oh, it Oh, we should up, have an episode where we do that. We just smash scopes. Yeah, we'll... For like we'll, a whole five minutes. We'll make a video on it if I do... I don't know. If, if he does happen to have that scope, we'll make sure to smash it. I might not smash it, but whatever. Maybe I'll get another one <laughs> just so we can smash just it. Just so we can smash it. But right. it sucks. Like, you turn on the light thing, and it it's horrible. You can't even look down at all you're seeing is green light. And oh, yeah, it's, it's terrible. I, I want to smash it, And too. it's, like, like, it's <laughs> like... It's like... It's like... It says... Oh yeah, you can see in the dark, and it's so cool. No, you really you, can't you see. You cannot in the see dark. anything. First of all, it gives away your position because you're flashing a green light. Oh no one's gonna see me. It's flashing green light. Yeah, Bang, you're like dead. if you really want to use a scope that lights up, just get one with like a flashlight thing that you can attach. Or like, on. or um, they made this uh thing. It's like a red dot sight. Use that. Oh yeah, it that's is good. so accurate, and it's like. You can actually see it, and um, the cool thing is it's so stealthy because it doesn't send out a beam, so no one can see it. Only you can see it. So I think that's awesome. Yeah. So. Anyways, that so, is the uh, end of our video, and um, please uh, subscribe and um for another episode, and um, yeah. So just uh, leave in the comments below which Nerf gun you want us to review, and yeah. uh, that's the end of our video. So that's the end of our video. Thanks for watching, and please make sure to subscribe. And leave uh, a like button down there. That would really help us. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Peace on the streets, son.